Hey friends, welcome to the Illuminate Minute, otherwise known as the Illuminate. Get it? <laughs> so for the next couple of weeks, we're going to be sharing just a few short Devo lessons on our YouTube channel that you can follow along for uh, while we can't be together in person quite yet, although we're looking forward to doing that very soon. Uh, but for the time being, I just wanted to catch up with you and say hey from my snowy front driveway here. Um, for those of you who don't know me, and many of you that do know me, might know that I really dislike the snow. And not because I don't think it's beautiful or anything, but I just genuinely dislike the after effects of a snowstorm. So for example, just yesterday, uh, as we were watching out the window, waiting for the final snowflakes to fall, I started dreading the fact that I had to shovel this driveway right here, all by myself. Uh, we have a new child at home who is not quite old enough to help me with the shoveling yet, and a caring mother who will be taking care of the five-week-old. So I have to do the shoveling all myself. And if you're anywhere in central PA, you know that we had like over a foot of snow. And it wasn't the kind of like snow that you could just push with a shovel to one side. You had to scoop it and throw it aside. So it was tough work. And I wasn't looking forward to it. And I never do. Which is part of the reason I dislike snow. Because you got to take care of it after it's done. And then it turns brown and gross and makes your yard all gross and your car all gross. And anyway, that's for another day. So if you would remember, for those of you who have been following us with Illuminate, back in the fall when we were starting to do some things together in person, one of the things we talked about was the importance of acting like a neighbor, right? We talked about neighborhoods, we talked about the importance of being a neighbor, we talked about what it meant to be a neighbor, uh, and we looked at the, you know, the verse that talks about loving your neighbor as yourself. So I just wanted to share a real quick uh, example of what a good neighbor does. So yesterday I was about quarter of the way through shoveling my driveway. I was watching all my neighbors around the street here with their snow blowers, taking care of the driveways really quick and easily. And here I am shoveling away. My back's already sore. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm thirsty. And who should show up but my neighbor from across the street with shovel in hand. Didn't say a word. Didn't ask if I wanted help. He just came over and started shoveling with me. And I couldn't tell you how much I appreciated that help. I don't typically talk to him. I don't know him very well. I know a few things about him. I know his name. I know what he does. Uh, but we don't really have conversations all that much. So for him to just come over unprompted without any expecting anything in return and help me shovel my driveway, to me, that was a true example of what it means to love your neighbor. And so when I think about what Jesus asks us to do in response to that call to love our neighbor, he wants us to help people who are in need. He wants us to seek out people uh, without any, expecting anything in return, without being prompted, um, just helping, lending a helping hand. For me, that made my day. Uh, what turned what could have been a two and a half to three hour shoveling project turned into just like a one hour project plus a conversation with the neighbor. So here's a good chance for you guys this winter to act like a neighbor. When you can't really go anywhere, you can't do much, uh, pick up shovel and help your neighbor, neighbor shovel their driveway. Um, a good verse that goes along with this, of course, is the golden rule, which many of you know. Do unto others as you would have them do to you. Um, don't expect anything in return. Just do what you expect others or hope others would do for you. So thanks for joining me here on the Illuminate 
illuminate, illuminate. I gotta get used to saying that. Illuminate. Uh, we'll see you next week, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week.